Hey everyone! One of the most useful features of topographic maps is their ability to show hills and valleys using contours. In this lesson, we will firstly describe what contour lines are. Then, we will look at how we can use contour lines to describe gradient. Lastly, we will run through spot heights. So let's get going! Contour lines are faint lines on maps that join points of equal height above sea level. Height above sea level is also known as altitude. In Ordnance Survey maps, these contour lines are placed at 10 metre intervals for Land Ranger maps and 5 metres for Explorer maps. One thing to watch out for is that not every contour line is labelled with its altitude. This means you'll need to make sure you pay attention to the contour interval when reading contour lines. This is just the difference in altitude between two adjacent contour lines, and is usually found in the map's legend or near the edge of the map. So, just looking at the number of contours that are shown on a map can give you an idea of the relief or hilliness of the land. For example, if there are lots of contours close together, the area is likely to be mountainous with steep slopes. Fewer contour lines that are more widely spaced suggest that the area has a flat, rolling landscape. To calculate the difference in heights between two points, such as A and B here, you can read off the contour lines. A is clearly 530 metres above sea level. If you follow the 410 metre line round, you can see that point B lies one contour line above the 410 metre line. We can tell that this line is above the 410 metre line as it lies between the 410 metre line and this line here, which is 450 metres. So we are moving uphill. As the difference between each of these lines is 10 metres in altitude, point B lies at 420 metres. Therefore, the difference between A and B is 530 metres minus 420 metres, which equals 110 metres. So, while the overall number of contours is useful for exploring relief, contours can also more specifically highlight the gradient of hills and slopes. You may be asked to describe the gradient in your exam, so it's pretty important to know what you're seeing. In short, the closer the contour lines, the steeper the slope. So, lines which are close together show a steep gradient, while lines that are further apart show a shallow gradient. This concept can be used to work out if the slopes are concave, convex or uniform. A concave slope is like the inside of a circle, so the slope decreases from high to low altitude. On a map, concave slopes are shown with contour lines that become more spread out as you move downhill. A convex slope is more like a dome or the outside of a circle, so the slope increases from high to low altitude. Shown on a map, the contour lines become less spread out as you move down the hill. Finally, a uniform slope has a constant gradient, and so the contour lines are at regular intervals. OK, so knowing the gradient is great for being able to describe an area, but so too is the altitude at a specific point. The altitude is written on some of the contour lines, but there are also specific altitudes that are highlighted called spot heights. Spot heights are often found at the top of hills or on level areas. On OS maps, they are always shown next to trig points, displayed by this symbol, a blue triangle with a dot inside it. Alright, that's it for this lesson, time to summarise. In this lesson, we looked at how we show relief and gradient on topographic maps using contour lines. These join points of equal altitude. Just looking at the number and closeness of contour lines will tell us the local relief. The gradient of a slope is shown by how close together the contour lines are. Lots of contour lines close together means the slope is steeper, while if they are far apart, the slope is shallower. As well as contours, maps also show altitude using spot heights at particular points, such as the top of hills. Thanks for listening everyone, and see you again soon.